zoax.net. Lesson 1. Creating a console application in Visual Studio 2013. For this lesson, you will need to have Visual Studio 2013 installed. To begin, locate the icon for Visual Studio 2013 in the Start menu and left-click it to open Visual Studio 2013. With Visual Studio open, left-click File in the menu bar, mouse over New in the sub-menu, and left-click Project in the sub-menu. This pops up the New Project dialog. Left-click Visual C++ under Templates in the left-hand pane, and left-click Win32 Console Application in the center pane. To change the name of the project to Console C++ Lesson 1, left-click the box next to Name and type it in. You can also select a folder location for your project by left-clicking the Browse button. When you are done, left-click the OK button to go on. This will bring up the Win32 application wizard shown here. Left-click the Next button to continue. That will take you to the application settings, where you should left-click the checkbox next to Empty Project and left-click the Finish button to create the project. Now you should see your new empty project open like this. We want to add a code file. To do this, left-click Project in the menu bar and left-click Add New Item in the sub-menu. This opens the Add New Item dialog. In it, left-click Visual C++ in the left-hand pane and left-click C++ file in the center pane. Left-click the box next to Name and type in main.cpp. Then left-click the Add button to create and add the new code file. The IDE should look like this. With the main.cpp file open for editing, write these lines of code into the pane or copy them from our lesson page at zoax.net. Finally, compile and execute the code by left-clicking Debug in the menu bar and left-clicking Start Without Debugging in the sub-menu. You might see a dialog asking you whether you would like to build the program. Left-click the Yes button. When the program finishes compiling and executes, you should see a console window like this one that says Deus Caritas Est. Congratulations, you have finished your first C++ program. If you would like, you can download the project and code from our website's lesson page. Simply left-click the download link next to the video player.